Good morning, everybody. This is the Motown Man, and I'm up early today. Uh, and the reason why I'm up early today is because uh, I'm a friend of Ron Nelson, my producer, and we're here today because um, we're going to be talking to Mike. Mike, state your board name, Mike. Mike McCurvey. Mike McCurvey. Okay, Mike, I have a few questions I'm going to ask you. Right. you know, and before I ask you the questions, would you like to swear, put yeah. down the Bible and say you but it, tell the truth, nothing but the truth and the whole truth? I will tell the truth, nothing but the truth, or help me God. Oh, help me God, so good. Now, Mike, the first thing mm -hmm. I'd like to ask you, um, there was a saying that you were sleeping under the stairs. I never said that to nobody. Did you ever say that to anybody? Never. Nice. They uh, know I'm sleeping this room over so here. So you, you never said that, huh? Never said it. Now, I put my now, hand now Mike, I'll ask you another question. Are you happy here with Mike? Yes, with Ron. Yes. Uh, do you like being here? Yes, I can't move now. I understand yes. when you was in the nursing home, you fought to get out of the nursing home to move here. I know, I like it here. It's quiet. I see. What you say now? It's quiet, nice. Uh -huh. I can walk to the bus, go to the library, right, right. go to the stores. And do you get along with Ron good? Yes, we never argue once. Does she bother you? Never. So you rather live here than a nursing home? Oh my God, any day. Uh, you even you move somewhere else, you want to stay what? Stay right and here. And what's his address? 64 North Maple Street. And I know you've been here a long time, have you? Four years. When you was working? I lived in a tent and everything. And I understand that is such a good, uh, uh, Ron Ness is such a good landlord that he even let you go by uh, one or two months without paying rent. No, that was an initial home, he, I couldn't he, pay. So the landlord is, sometimes when you didn't have money, he let you stay here? He, he yes. lived you in the hospital, didn't he? Yes. Well, I just want the audience to know this. Um, I understand that the, uh, they're going to be coming to inspect Ron's place. I just wanted to let you know, I'm seeing um, you, um, Ron has a copy of even yeah. having dumpsters outside. And as I look around, I can see, oh, yes, he's done a lot of work in the apartment. And he's still got work to do. So I would like to uh, uh, interview Ron if I get a chance here now. Okay. Um, if you want to step over, Ron. Okay, so you're all yeah. uh, done with Mike. Why yeah. don't you ask him uh, about the cats? Oh, yeah. One, one other thing I'll ask you about. Does Ron have 16 cats? No, he don't. I never said that. Have you ever seen 16 cats? Oh, my God, never in my life. He has a few cats, but not 16. Maybe five, that's it, I think. And are they well taken care of? Yes, he I know he them takes every care day. Of I love cats. I know, Ron. Before he, he eats, he takes care of cats. Yes, I never So he doesn't have... Them. Sixteen cats. I don't know what you think. Somebody made this up. They get imagination. I don't know where they get it from. Now People you don't bum it up. You don't have to bum it up anything, do you? It's Never. Not, it's being kept clean, isn't it? Yes, it's trying. It may have every day. Do you think it's right because people have stuff stored in their house for other do people coming? Do you think it's right for people to come to somebody's house to tell them how to live? No. See, I got nurses. I have to have a nurse visit me once a week. Every two weeks to see if I'm all right, that's it. But she said she don't care. So they're making you sick of it. So you're getting more sick about them starting trouble. I know, I want to stay here. I can't you, move now. Yeah, you love this. You, you, you yes. like your name, Yes, it's that's quiet. The, okay. I can stay here as long as I want if I want to watch TV, lay down. Oh, that's so good then. I know. So you're happy here? Yeah. yeah I want to always know I ain't saying this. He said this, mm. and you put the hand on the Bible again. Yeah. And swear to God that this is true. Where the God, I never said that. I don't know who's using jealousness will kill you. Whoever said it, I want to know. Uh -huh. Well, we want to thank you, Mike. Yeah. And I think right now we're going to be Ron Nessa right okay. quick. Okay. okay. If you don't mind. Over there. You can go back there. You can go, room. Mike. Right. And thank you, Mike. And, uh, you bet. I want to tell you, you know, we changed the camera. We changed not the camera, but we're getting Ron Nessa right now. And, um, I, if you could get from by the camera right here and uh, I think I gotta close the blind because you got a lot of sun on you. Yeah, I guess so. Let me just try to try to get some of the sun off me right here. But I'm, once again, I'm here at Ron Nestor's house to try to uh, help uh, get away of a dispute that may be going on between the nurse, social worker, of powers to be because of the fire department, city police, and um, we just spoke to one of the clients that lived here. Who don't want to move says he enjoyed being here and Ron don't have 16 cats. Oh, I have to go, Ron. Uh, Ron, what, what do you got there? What's your sign says? It says uh, Special Operations Society. I'm the and, founder of the Special Operations and, Society. And, 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 and what, what, 
what's the reason you got this uh well this is uh, a, a, a sign that i created myself i made my own sign there because uh, uh, I like to do creative kind of things. This was an eagle. Actually, it came on an envelope in the mail. And uh, this shield is actually from the FCC. When we went digital, they sent oh, notices okay. in the mail. Uh -huh. And that's the FCC shield, and that's a pentagram. That, yeah. uh, uh, and, and this thing is, uh, is one of those things that I guess it's kind of like an Egyptian thing with different kind of... Uh, 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 things or uh, symbols or something. So they're actually wrong. Why? Why this? Why you got this out again? Well, I got the Special Operations Society because uh, we live outside the box. And when you say outside the box, explain it to our audience. Well, uh, we live outside the box because we do stuff that other people don't ordinarily do in society, like so take, like like take in homeless people. Well, I think you're kind of doing stuff like I do them on. I, I, I see it. I think it's very good. Yeah, and, and Mike came from a, the homeless shelter over to the house here. He was calling and uh, talking to me on the phone when I had an ad in the paper and said, I hate the homeless shelter. I want to get out of here. And so I, I went to meet uh, Mike over at McDonald's, and he filled out an application. I let him come over to the house here. And also, when Mike was in the hospital, he wanted to come here. I remember him saying he wanted to come here. Yeah, he didn't really like to be uh, staying in the hospital or the nursing home. They were trying to force him to stay in the north nursing home, and, and I, he didn't and, like it. And, and I heard that he just took off and came here. He, well, he uh, he took off uh, uh, at least once, uh, maybe uh, twice, uh, and he didn't go back to the nursing home. He went off, and, and they didn't know where he was. They were asking me at his job. Uh, he used to work at the Big Y, and I was in there buying cat food, and uh, they said, Oh, do you, is Mike over at your house or, uh, or somewhere? Or we can't find him. He took off somewhere. And I yeah. said, Well, I don't know anything about Mike. Isn't he in the nursing home? They said, No, he took off. He, uh, we brought him somewhere for an appointment, a doctor's appointment, and then he, he took off and went off somewhere. Well, and they, they couldn't find him. Yeah, I know he came back here. I know Mike got thrown on the road. And I, at all costs, he uh, wanted to come here. Now, let me ask you another question. Have you uh, ever had a dumpster out here cleaning? And have yeah, you... we just had the dumpster. They, they just picked it up about a week ago. And uh, I, I also, I'm not speaking for you, but I also heard that you've been having people uh, come do a lot of work in here. I, I just heard that uh, you're getting some uh, carpenter. Well, the carpenter that, uh, that's been working on the house here since 1970, He's doing some work down in the basement, so maybe somebody heard that the carpenter's down there in the basement, and uh, that's why that they came over to investigate. And uh, is this some of the things that you want to correct that maybe you got to notice to correct and you're fixing them? Well, I think that uh, the, the, t uh, the town is uh, upset because I have a, a place downstairs that I built that we didn't have a building permit, and they're using that as justification to come over right, here. Right, but the question is... Have you been doing some of the work that they say that was a violation? Have you been doing some of the work? I haven't been doing work myself. I've but always, you had work. I had some work done here at the house. Yeah, here. I just want to always know that you've been having communists to do some of this work that uh, they say was a violation. Yeah, there, there's, always, uh, there's always work that has to be done at the house, so I always have things done all the time. Yeah, I just want to make sure that they understood that you have been clearing up some of these so-called violations. And Ron, and would you put your hand on the Bible that you don't have 16 cats? I'm going to put my, le my left hand on my right hand. I don't care which hand you put it on. Okay, there. I'll use my right hand. No, I do not have 16 cats. They claim that some lady uh, had said that she saw 16 cats, and I actually have seven cats, but there's one cat uh, here. They're well they're taking care of them, Ron, the cats. And there are cats. I buy cat food on a daily basis, and they're always getting food there. Actually, the doctor complained that I, I spend more money on the cats than on myself. Well, I said that about you. Yeah, the doctor said that, too. You, I know these cats are well taken care of. Um, Ron, what do you um, hope um, about these people... Um, bothering you all the time. I'm asking you. I, I What's think, your hopes and what do you think? I think that they, they don't like it because we have people living in the house here that are outside the mainstream society and they they don't like these people that come over to live at the house here. A lot of them are uh, 
uh, people that have problems, like the homeless people, they have uh, alcohol and drug problems, and the police always come over here. So I think that uh, uh, one of the reasons is that because I have people living here that uh, they don't particularly like, they don't like these people that are outside the box. Well, I think you're right, Ron. I see you put up with a lot, and a lot of times people don't, people get mad, like you say, if you put up with a lot. And I, I think you should be commended. Yeah, because uh, I've had people that have been living here that uh, didn't even pay rent, and they were trying to get away staying here without paying rent, and I had to be running over and uh, evicting somebody that didn't pay rent for a year. Now, Ron, I also heard that you had a home invasion uh, a couple months ago. Right? I had a home invasion. I had uh, 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 some college students that supposedly were thinking that th this was their house, and they walked in. It was like 3.30 in the morning, and I said, what are you doing in the house here? Get the hell out of here. And uh, three guys took off, and one guy was uh, trying to get into the back room there. And I, I have a suspicion it was actually a government conspiracy that they sent these people over under the guise of being like drunken students, but they came over here. I think maybe they uh, they paid these students to come over to the house here because they lived down the street. Well, were they valid, Ron? No, uh, uh, but uh, uh, we called the police, and the police came over and and uh, got the guy when he walked out the door there, because... Uh, was we, he an arrest made? Uh, I, I, I guess the police asked if I wanted to press charges, and I said, no, I'm not going to bother, because the guy was drunk. I'm not going to press charges on a drunk. So, Ron, you do, you is living out of the box. You're not the norm in the neighborhood. I'm not the norm in this whole society. Everything uh, with me is kind of unusual. Well, I guess that's me, too. I take care of homeless people, but, um, and Ron, uh, one, one last question I want to ask you here, um, the, uh, the tenant that supposed to slip under the stairs, he stated that he never slept under the stairs. You don't even have a room, a bed on the stairs anywhere, do you? I, I have a, a place down in the basement that, uh, was built by a guy a year ago that he built a room, but he didn't get a building permit, and I'm using that room myself. It's a room that I've been staying in. I, I've been uh, moving my stuff downstairs because I told the building inspector that I was uh, actually in the process of trying to move from the upstairs to the downstairs because I had too many problems with tenants and I wanted to have my own place. So I'm starting to build this place downstairs and I'm having the carpenter make a bathroom for myself. Before we close out this interview, are you still going to work today, Ron? Am I what? Are you going to go to work today knowing that the uh, inspectors are going to be coming over? Well, I, I do have to come to work, but I, I will leave a, a message on the door that if they need to contact me to call me at my job. You're not worried about them um, tanning your house, giving you 48 hours to move? I don't think that they have any justification because there's, uh, there's no a major violation. And the reason here. why you think they don't have any justification? I, uh, because uh, uh, the, the, uh, the problem was that they were thinking that Mike was living down in the basement and he never lived in the basement. What about the house? The house itself, the upstairs, there's nothing really wrong with the upstairs and the downstairs we're in the process of working on. You will continue doing work on this house. You have a car there. Come here every week, is that so? Yeah, he's coming and working on the downstairs. So And, and he did get a building permit. So um, this is an ongoing thing. You... Um, you're constantly doing work. Yeah, it's a never-ending project. It's a house that never ends. You have to keep working and working and working. It's like a never-ending project. Well, there he is then. And Ron, I want to thank you, and I hope um, things work out today, and I hope they realize that uh, as I look around, I can see that you've been doing a lot of work here, and, um, and you continue doing that. And um, you don't have but so much money. Um, most of the tenants don't pay you. Right. Thank God that you're willing to help. I, I, I hear you got to pay. I managed to get by, but uh, I, I do need to have uh, some tenants pay some rent, but uh, 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 it's only once in a while that I get rent. I don't get rent on a regular you, you basis. You pay a lot of rent. I think it's something like 900 a month. You I pay on a mortgage. It's like over $900 lights, a month. Nice, and you got to keep the lights on. And, and the I have heat. to pay for the other things, too. There, so. uh, and that's kind of like, hard now. Always kind of uh, something that has to be So that's why you got to go to work today. Yeah, I have to go to work because I, I can't really afford to take the day off. Well, we want to thank you uh, for this interview, Ron, and uh, I hope you out there understand and uh, give Ron, um, give Ron a chance. Um, he's doing things, but things take time. Uh, if you're working in your house, it takes time. 
you're not bad the weather has been and um Ron is not a super rich guy. He's he's struggling right now just to keep the mortgage going. So um let's be fair and uh, give him a chance and let's look and listen and see what he's saying. Rather than just taking someone's word who works for the city or who 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 works for social services. Um they don't live here and um the people that live here I've talked to, they're happy here. Yeah, and uh, they're trying to impose uh, some kind of uh, uh, rules and regulations here uh, on on us uh, where we're living a perfectly uh, a regular kind of uh, lives. Everybody's uh, doing activities and things, and we're uh, keeping up you with the You pay house. taxes, don't you, and I, I pay. I have to be paying taxes and everything, so they're just trying to come up with excuses because they don't like the Special Operations Society. That's your operation. That's what it is. <laughs> well, we want to thank y'all, and we want to thank the Special Operations Society. All righty. Okay, thank everybody out there, peace, love, and happiness from the Motown Man. Have a good day. Thank you.